Peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove One UI 6 beta from your Samsung Galaxy devices. And if you go to the official website of One UI beta, which is developer.samsung.com slash one hyphen UI hyphen beta. And herein, if we scroll down, go to the FAQ, and we are going to ask, how do I get rid of the One UI? Beta. So how do I withdraw from the beta program? So for starters, you need to go to the Samsung members application on your phone and herein if you're not already on the One UI 6 beta page, select that option and then on the top right you will see the settings icon, select that. Therein you will see One UI program status for the beta and you need to select withdraw make sure you're connected to the internet they might ask you for some feedback the reason why you're withdrawing and then you can sign out or withdraw from the one ui6 beta then unfortunately to go back to one ui5 or one ui 5.1 whatever is the latest you need to use their smart switch pc samsung has provided the link on this page over here and that is going to open another page herein you need to scroll down and download and install smart switch for either windows or for mac os because to revert back or to get rid or to remove one ui6 you definitely need the pc version of smart switch another thing i recommend you do is make sure that the battery on your Samsung devices charged to at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not try to uninstall or remove One UI 6 if your battery is at 10 or 20 percent. Then remove any security measures like PIN, passwords, fingerprints, and remove any accounts like Google account or Samsung account from the device. And do note that this process is going to perform a complete factory reset. So make sure you have backed up your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. And once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, reboot your device once. Oh, here it is. I have installed Smart Switch on my Mac, and now it is wanting me to connect my Samsung Galaxy S23 which is running One UI 6 to the Mac. So all you need to do is connect it to your computer while the device is turned on using your USB Type-C cable. And there it is, you can see it is connecting the device. You will see maybe some permissions which you need to give or you need to install some software on the device itself so that it can work with your computer. But I am getting multiple options. I'm getting backup, I'm getting restore. So in case you want to backup your data, now would be the time to do that. But the most important option over here is the one which says downgrade because this is going to let us downgrade from One UI 6 to whatever is the latest. So we're going to select downgrade and then we have to wait there it is you can see it is telling me smart switch will update galaxy s 23s software to the latest version so this is the latest version right now over here and this is the current version the size is 7.9 gb also the software update will initialize your device and remove your data and information so a factory reset again as i mentioned earlier make sure you've backed up your data and information prior to deleting the beta software version which in this case is one ui 6 and we're going to select continue over here and then again some caution so it is telling us that on rooted devices it may fail my device is not rooted use the official samsung usb cable fully charge your battery and again if you're using a laptop which runs on battery make sure it is connected to a power source you do not want your laptop to be turning off while you are downgrading from one ui 6 and it also says do not open any menus by pressing any buttons do not connect any other mobile devices to the pc you cannot use the call function and please do not disconnect the cable until the update is complete so all confirmed and here it is welcome to samsung smart switch pc we're going to select continue and it is telling me that preparing the update please do not disconnect the cable so we're going to leave it connected and it is now downloading all the files it needs and again please do not disconnect the cable so we just reached 100 percent and the device rebooted on its own there it is you can see that it is now in 
download mode and it is telling me it is downloading do not turn off the target and do not disconnect the usb cable and of course we have the progress here on the mac as well so it is telling me it is at zero percent and software update for galaxy s23 is in progress so we are almost there we are at 97 percent right now and the software update is definitely moving faster than the download part and there it is the device rebooted again we are on the samsung logo and here it is we have on our mac the message that software update for galaxy s23 is complete the device will now restart disconnect and reconnect the cable so we're going to disconnect the cable and we are going to reconnect the cable although i'm pretty sure that reconnection is not necessary but we'll just select ok over here and on the phone right now we are at the samsung galaxy logo now do note that your device has been reset you just downgraded from one ui 6 to whatever the latest stable one ui is and in this case it should be one ui 5 so the first boot up will take some time and you have to be patient and there it is we do have the welcome screen and we can go ahead and skip the initial setup and there it is you can actually tell by the quick settings panel that we are running one ui 5 we can also go into the settings and confirm that so here it is we have successfully downgraded to one ui 5.1 and we were running one ui 6 beta on our samsung galaxy s 23.